Let's do the vertical crochet stitch. The vertical scallop crochet stitch is one that I enjoyed so much. Looking at the stitch, I thought, yeah, it was pretty, uh, and I thought it was it was a nice looking stitch, but working up the pattern was so enjoyable. I am now itching to make something with this. Seriously, I could see this pattern being used for a placemat, for a shawl, for a woman's top, for a lightweight blanket because of these nice airy breezy sections in between these solid sections here, or even a bag. I thought this would work up great. Play with different yarns, different fibers, different thicknesses, different colors. Oh my gosh, this is going to be one that you really enjoy. All right, so the level of crochet crocheter I think this pattern would be easiest with is an advanced beginner crocheter or, or even an easy level crocheter. And here's why. We are working with basic stitches, just double crochets, single crochets, and chains. However, there is literally a nice section chunk of repeat that you have to remember and know placement of stitches really well. Be comfortable with those basic stitches. And then you repeat and then you repeat. So you have to know like nine stitches in a row before you repeat them. However, this is a one row repeat. So when you have a one row repeat and you get the rhythm of what's happening, this project becomes very relaxing and very therapeutic. And that's what a lot of people are looking for with their crochet projects is something relaxing, fun to do, something you can really fall into with a rhythm and just go. And that is this crochet stitch 100%. Once you get the rhythm of what's happening, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it is so much fun. All right, the terminology for this pattern, I'm going to be sharing it in U.S. terminology. So I'm referring to these stitches in U.S. terminology just to give you a heads up. Let's go ahead and get started. So the vertical scallop crochet stitch is worked in a multiple stitch count of seven, multiple of seven stitches. All right, starting with a long enough tail for us to weave in that end at the end of the project. Slip knot, crochet hook. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm going to make a little swatch so I can get through the steps faster with you and show you what to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's good really quick right there. Multiple of seven, like I mentioned. <laughs> All right, so for row one, we're going to start by making three double crochet stitches in the fourth chain from our crochet hook. So counting our V stitches. One, two, three, four. Make three double crochets. One, two, three. Awesome. All right, now skip two chains. Be very careful not to miss this chain right next to where we just placed the three double crochets. So skip one, skip two, single crochet in the third chain, single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, and then make three double crochet stitches in the following chain. One, two, three. Great, and that's the repeat. Skip two, one, two, single crochet in the third, chain three, one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, and then make three double crochets in that fourth stitch or fourth chain. One, two, three. Skip two, one, two, single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, and three double crochet stitches in that fourth chain. One, two, 
three at the very end of your row, end of row one, skip two. We just finished the three double crochet stitches. Skip two, one, two, single crochet in the third or last stitch, and that will close row one. So this is what row one is going to look like. Now, if you find that my video is going too fast for you, that I'm, I'm instructing too quickly, you can control the speed of your own video. So go to the settings. It looks like a little gear. It's usually at the bottom of the video or in the top. If you're watching from a phone or tablet, in the top of the screen, you'll see three dots. Push that three dots. Go down to playback speed. Find playback speed in the settings. And then from playback speed, you can speed me up. Or you can slow me down <laughs> and so if you need me to go a little bit slower feel free to make this video as slow as you are comfortable to get a hang of the stitch that we are doing all right all right so when it comes to row two we are at row two chain two one two turn our work great row two is our repeat row we're just going to be repeating row two for the extent of the entire project. So I'm going to go over row two one time and then a second time just to make sure you have a grasp completely on what we're doing. To begin row two, we will make three double crochet stitches in that single crochet stitch. One, two, three. Skip two stitches. One, two, single crochet in the third stitch. Chain three. One, two, three. Skip over those three chains. In the single crochet stitch here, we're going to make three double crochet stitches. One, two, <laughs> and three. Great. Skip two stitches. One, two, single crochet in the third, chain three, one, two, three, three double crochet stitches into that single crochet. One, two, three, skip two stitches, one, two, single crochet, and then chain three. One, two, three. Skip the three chains, three double crochet stitches here in the single crochet stitch. One, two, three. All right, at the very end of row two, this is super important, guys. At the end of row two, we're actually going to skip the three double crochet stitches, find our turning chain, and single crochet into that turning chain. Now what this will do is it will help to square off our sides. And a lot of us struggle with having straight sides with our project. So this is going to be important at the very end only, end of your rows, you're going to skip the three double crochet stitches, find that turning chain and single crochet into the turning chain. Now what happens if I just continue on with the prod, you know, the same pattern? So I would skip two stitches, one, two, single crochet in the third. And what's what's harm's gonna happen if I just keep up with the pattern? If I do that, my row will actually end early and it will continue to end early and you're gonna end up having indents in your project and wondering what's going on. Why is my project indenting so much? You're not gonna have those squared off sites. So just go ahead, at the very end only, end of your rows, skip the three double crochet stitches, one, two, three, find that turning chain, and single crochet into your turning chain. Cool, and then that's all we do, is repeat row two for the extent of your pattern. So chain two, one, two, turn our work. Awesome. First thing we're gonna do is make three double crochets into that single crochet stitch. One, two, three. Skip two stitches. One, two, single crochet in the third. Chain three. One, two, three. 
three double crochets in the single crochet stitch. You've got the repeat. Three, skip two, one, two, single crochet in the third. All right, now something I would like to kind of just mention, might help you out with this pattern a lot, is you're gonna see a lot of threes. We're going to make three double crochets, we're going to single crochet in the third stitch, and then chain three. Three double crochets, single crochet in the third stitch, and then chain three. Three, three, three. <laughs> so everything's in threes until you get to the very end where you skip three double crochet stitches and single crochet into the fourth just to make sure those sides really square up. See how clean that has already squared up? It's awesome. Oh my gosh, this is, again, a project, a pattern that I really enjoy. The rhythm of it makes me really excited. I have a lot of fun with this and I can't wait to think of a project that I can make this up with. I hope you give it a try. Please give it a try. And if you would like some help, I created these cards. They're stitch cards that I have on my website, crochetwithtiffany.com. They're free. Just print out as many as you want. I printed it out on cardstock so it was harder, firmer. And when I'm done with my swatch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to staple the swatch to the card so I have a memory and a recollection of what this stitch looked like and I can even write a note on the card like I really enjoyed this one that way when I come back I can have more mental memory of me actually physically giving this a try and again like I said it's a pretty stitch but until you give it a try you don't know how much fun it is this is again called the vertical scallop stitch it's worked in a multiple stitch count of a multiple of seven. Uh, it is important that you mark down, write down somewhere. If you're not using these stitch cards, maybe you're using a notebook. Please write down which crochet hook you used and the size of the yarn that you used. I used a size four weight worsted weight yarn. I used a crochet hook size H8 five millimeter crochet hook. That way, when you come back to this swatch, you remember you have all the notes you need to replicate this exact swatch instead of being like, oh no, what crochet hook did I use? Oh, was it smaller? Was it bigger? What yarn did I use? Was it smaller? Was it bigger? You just have everything down. Or on my website, I will also have one of these cards with all this information filled in for you if you'd like to print it out. Oh, I'm so excited. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already so you don't miss my upcoming videos. I have some awesome new Technique Tuesdays, these stitches coming out that are so much fun. I have awesome projects coming out such as pillows and blankets and women's tops that are beautiful you're not gonna wanna miss out on. If you would like more out of my channel or just like to support my channel, check out my membership program. If you had a lot of fun, check out more of these stitches. Let's just keep it going. Have some fun today just making up a bunch of stitches by checking out this, these videos right here. It's a playlist of different stitches I got going on. Or check out this video, which is a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for crocheting with me, having some fun with me. I always love crocheting with you. I'll see you with the next one, guys. Bye. <laughs>